Welcome everybody to my channel where AI is not just a buzzword, it's a passion. And today I'm taking you into the fascinating world of AI text-to-image generators. And I must say I've set up a fun challenge. I created a simple imaginative prompt, of course, using ChatGPT, and I will test for you five the most popular text-to-image generators to see which one of them will do its best bringing this idea to life. But wait until the very end of this video, since there is a special bonus for you. So without further ado, let's get started. So starting off with the community showcase from the Midjourney, you got plenty of images with uh, different styles. What is amazing for me is the fact that it's sometimes it's really hard to judge if it's generated by AI or it is uh, done by human. But anyway, let's go with our prompt. So here is a Discord channel from Midjourney, the fact which I don't like because I don't like to use Midjourney via uh, Discord, but this is how it works, so I need to use it this way. And uh, I would like to mention one thing more, that we are using here a Midjourney model uh, 5.2, uh, which is the old one, and the newest one is version 6. So I decided to, that I will generate two generations, one with the older model and one with the newest one with version uh, 6. And here you have results from the version 5.2. It's really nice uh, image, a lot of colors, a lot of details, uh, some uh, kind of uh, buildings uh, in the uh, back, uh, some people even standing here on some uh, walkways. Uh, but I, what I don't see here is the submarine, which I really wanted, and it was included in the prompt. But uh, here is a generation from version 6 of Midjourney, and it is a completely different story. Uh, the climate of those pictures is uh, more moody, darker, and you can see different details. There are buildings like I wanted, and there are some submarines here, and uh, here you can see also some fragments. So I must say that I like uh, this creation much better. So I would use a sixth uh, version of uh, Mid Journey for this type of prompt. And what do you think? Leonardo AI is another decent tool you should keep on your list. It has a really beautiful web interface and creations out of it are sometimes on par with the ones from the Mid Journey. So let's see how it goes with our prompt. Okay, so here you have results from Leonardo AI. Our prompt is uh, here. Here are the generations. I would say that these are nice. A lot of uh, colors, uh, some uh, buildings underwater. Definitely it has this underwater style as well. These probably are submarines. I think so. There are some plants, flowers underwater. But still, I think that Mid Journey is a bit better in this uh, competition. Okay, the third one is Ideogram. I really like Ideogram. It's one of my personal uh, best programs to, for image uh, generations. Uh, but it is not uh, for the fact that uh, it is the best in terms of the quality. I think still Me Journey is the best one. What really distinguishes uh, Ideogram from the rest of the pack is the fact that it really handles well with the signs, with the typography, with the text. It's not like it's always working, uh, but it was uh, in the past that only Ideogram could could handle text. Now, of course, DALE is also uh, capable of doing uh, those things as well, and even Midjourney with its uh, newest uh, version. Uh, but Ideogram, I think, was uh, the first one. So let's put uh, our prompt here. Generate. Okay. So here we have results. These are a bit worse. <laughs> I don't find too many details here. Uh, it is like a building combines with the submarines and with something extra, some wings. I don't find it useful, but it is creative, I must say. Uh, but maybe it is not so usable like the, like with the ones uh, before. So you might find this uh, one very useful for the graphics, less for the photos, as you can see from uh, their gallery. Okay, let's go with the next one. So I couldn't skip this one. It is, of course, Dali from OpenAI. Dali, of course, it is uh, very well known, like uh, Mid Journey. You can use it for all sorts of images, uh, photos, drawings, whatever you would like. And the interesting thing about it is also that it's available via different interfaces. For example, here I use Microsoft uh, Bing Image Creator. 
and it is powered by DALI. So I just use a pr our prompt here and get all these images from this prompt. Um, I like them. I must say that they are a little bit different than the ones which uh, we got from Leonardo or Midjourney. But uh, also DALI is available via ChatGPT. So here is a prompt inside of ChatGPT. One iteration. And let me show you the last one, which preferably for me at least is the best one. It's kind of more creative and more, more interesting, at least for me. <laughs> what about you? What do you think? So. I think DALI is definitely one of the best image creators and let's go with the next one. Playground.com is the last one in our comparison. It gives you really good quality images and also extra options to fine tune your images. Let's check it. So the last one is Playground.com, a really interesting one. Uh, it has its own, it uses its own proprietary model but uh, the creations are really beautiful uh, here, as you can uh, see from the uh, gallery. But what about our prompt, of course? Click Create here, then you will be presented with the nice uh, dashboard. Uh, there is a place for your prompt here. I already put it here, uh, so this is generated just for you not to waste too much time watching <laughs> generation uh, process. Uh, I find this image, is image uh, quite nice, maybe not too, too detailed, I think. Uh, it is okay, there is some submarines, there is uh, this feeling of something underwater, some plants, uh, something green, a bit yellow. But it is, uh, at the end of the day, I could use it, I think, maybe for some uh, project. But still, I think the Midjourney <laughs> is the best one here. So we reached the end of this video. So based on my feelings, I created this ranking. Here are the final results. The best one was uh, Mid Journey, specifically the version uh, sixth of uh, Mid Journey. And the second one goes to Delhi, uh, especially the chat GPT generation of uh, this uh, prompt using uh, Dali. The third place goes to Leonardo. Uh, the fourth place goes to playground.com. And the last one goes to Ideogram, which was the worst, I think, in that case, although I really like this uh, program. In this competition, it uh, didn't uh, win. And of course, bonus tip for you. If you have an Android phone, there is a Microsoft Copilot, which is available on Android phones right now. And you can have ChatGPT4 with DALI Image Creator within your phone. So download it and use it while it's for free. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you really find it useful. If you have any comments regarding these tools or you would like to add something extra, please let me know in the comments. I will be happy to read them all. Thank you and see you soon.